Okay, Shalom, Shalom, it's Brother Kadash giving our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. Now, this is the whole BBL thing, you know, and this is a um, Indianapolis. Um, she was from Indiana, Indianapolis woman, which is right up the street from me, which is important to show you that this is happening to, this ain't just happening to, you know, random people all over that's super far that really don't relate to us. This is happening to a woman that's right here in our backyard, man regular average woman in today in today's world and it's not really being reported on a lot so it's our job as the prophets to bring it out and of course where are they going they going to the dr and what are they doing when they get down there they're getting tummy tucks or are they getting the you know the fat transfer from their tummy and their sides and they're getting it to their bucks um their butts which is the um the bbl brazilian um butt lift you know but a lot of women want to do this, and this is almost like a trend today, you know, especially among, among the Judite woman, um, Issacharite woman, really the Israelite woman, you know, this is a big trend. I mean, even the Edomite woman, you know, and what they're doing is, is they're going down there and enhancing their bodies, you know, to get the body they always wanted. First, it started with the, you know, the eyelashes, the fake hair, the weaves, the nails, and now it's just complete transformation on, on your body, you know, but... People don't understand these things cost a lot of money to do. So if you're going down to the DR and you're able to get this procedure done for five thousand, three thousand dollars, then you know something just ain't right. You pay, you get what you pay for. You know, if you're going to get it for cheap, then you're going to get cheap work, and that could cause a lot of complications. One, or if not a lot of complications, it could cause your life, and it's causing a lot of women their lives. And this is happening. You know, they're not checking these doctors. You know, they're not checking their work you know and and they're not really you know they're going off their feelings and they're not looking at the um the risk versus the reward so let's let this play first at six an indianapolis woman is dead after traveling to the dominican republic for plastic surgery it is a growing trend u.s citizens leaving the country to get those procedures and wrtv's adam shumes and photojournalist paul chiodo have been working this week to try to find out what went wrong in the Dominican Republic. With a heavy heart, Sheree Terry reflects on the life of her twin sister. And she went to go get her body done in a DR, and she never never made it back. Shikari Terry was a mother to a two-year-old and the proud owner of the Mini Blessings in Paradise Daycare on the city's east side. Before so, an uh, owner or something, right? You know, then you get these boss ladies that become owners of businesses and stuff today. And then the only thing they have left is to get that money and get their bodies done so they could look apart. But imagine, you know, leaving behind a two year old and a two year old grows up and asks us, you know, what happened to my mommy, you know, and to come to find out that the mommy died from getting a BBL, you know. We're going to the Dominican Republic. And me and my sister had a type of relationship where we could get it to in one minute. And then right after that, we'll be back friends and talking. So I knew someone, right? I felt it in my heart. And I've been just trying to get help. This wasn't Shikari's first surgery this year. She posted on her Facebook back in February that she got surgery. Her family says it was a gastric sleeve surgery that she got in Mexico. Just a few months later, on April 11th, her family says Shikari went with her friend Carlisha Williams to the Dominican Republic. Right. And I know people personally that has got this procedure done. And everybody I know personally that has got this done, a BBL, right? They all say the same thing. Like, there's a lot of downtime and there's a lot of, like, your healing process. It's very hard. They have to take painkillers and medicine through it, you know, because that's not natural if you have to take that. Then you have to ask yourself, then, why is she having to travel outside or travel that far to get these procedures done? Why you got to travel to... Mexico to do things and the Dominican Republic uh, Republic to do things. You know, why can't you just do it in Indianapolis? Well, two, two answers is because they're trying to get it for cheaper. So you could go to places like Mexico or the DR and get these procedures done for cheaper. Whereas if you got it done in the States in Indianapolis, then um, it will probably cost a lot more to do, you know. But like we said, you get what you pay for, you know. And yeah, of course, when you, whenever I hear a woman... Look, if I hear that a Jake, if I hear that an Israelite dude, you know, is traveling to the D or I know one thing, he's going to go down there and he's going to mack on a lot of ladies. He's going to pop a lot of women. That's what they go to the D or for. And if I hear about a woman going to the D or then I already know, 
Oh, she's gonna go out there and get her body done. Simple. So she definitely was healthy. Everything went wrong, it happened there. They both had surgery for a Brazilian butt lift and a tummy tuck. They say the surgery was performed by Dr. Jose de Senya, seen here before the surgery. But after she and see, this is how our women are. Instead of being disciplined, going on a diet, you know, and being disciplined to that diet, going on runs, shedding that weight, going to the gym, working out, you know, this is how our people have became, man. And this is why the prophet's out here telling our people to repent and turn to the old way. Have a balance of everything. They're having a false balance is an abomination. So our women and our even our men, you know, our people, period, you know, is they want things done the easy way. They want to be able to just go get a transformation. They don't want to have to work for it, you know. And this is judgment. I mean, Thursday night, she just went right. The second day into recovery, which was Friday, um, the 15th, uh, Shakori was... I was, you know, moving around a lot more, and Shakori, I was still in pain, but I was moving around. Shakori wasn't really moving around. She wasn't doing nothing. She would lay in bed. I would go in there and try to get her out the bed, try to get her to come downstairs and eat with me, and she just wasn't responding well. Carlisha says Shakari was moved from their recovery house and admitted to a clinic in Santiago. When look we at that. Look, how, look at the pain on her. Why would you go do something to yourself? Right. And be in that type of pain where you got to be on pain medicine and everything. Look at that. Look at the pain on her. You can see it, man. Just to try to get a good body, man. Like, this is crazy. You know, this is sad, but this is the judgment, you know. Let's let it play. Go in there and I see Shakori. I almost fell out. And then these are just regular women, average women. They're not rich. They're not famous. You know, people are getting the income tax back. Getting they got two kids, a kid they get six thousand, ten thousand dollars on income tax back in the beginning of the year. And they're taking that money and they're gonna go get BBLs. That's what these women are doing, man. Like literally, like she was on all these machines. She was unresponsive. And she wasn't talking, wasn't alert, eyes closed, she's unresponsive. Carlisha Williams was told that Shikari was okay. Her kidneys were doing well and her body needed rest. Carlisha says Dr. Desenia said she was only sedated. So I'm like, so if you unhook that, you know, she'll be able to breathe and stuff like that on her. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's perfectly fine. Like, you know, her body just needs rest. Carlisha says she went back to see Shikari the next day and a different doctor was there. According to Carlisha, that doctor told her Shikari was having a hard time breathing on her own. But 20 minutes later, she says Dr. Desenia came in and told her Shikari was getting better and just needed dialysis. I reach out to the mother and, you know, I'm telling them what's going on, but I'm trying not to scare them. But at this point, I want to scream, like, get down here, like, you know. When Shikari's mom arrived about a week after the surgery, Carlisha says the doctors continue to say that Shikari just needed rest and they were told to leave. Carlisha was set to come back to Indiana the next day. Her mother's talking to her. Her mother, uh, basically, she tells me, like, Carlisha, I don't believe my daughter is alive. She was like, I know my daughter isn't alive. Why won't they tell me? By the time she got to Indiana, Carlisha said that she was notified that Shikari had passed away. So she was like, Carlisha, I went back to uh, my room. She was like, I was probably there for about an hour. She was like, they called me and told me Shikari heart stopped just that quick. I said, huh? She said, as soon as she went in, she said her daughter was already in a body bag that quick. Sheree and... I mean, that's judgment from the Lord. Where Where is her husband at? Oh, let me guess. You know, the Judite so-called black woman, she didn't have a husband. She's an independent woman. <laughs> where was the uh, the the baby? She had a two-year-old. Uh, where was the um baby's uh, father at? You know, oh, let me guess. You know, she's a Judite woman. She probably ain't with him no more. You know, so this it's a good thing to have a man a husband, and then especially a man of the Lord with wisdom to tell you these things. And this is the wisdom right here because this is against the law. Leviticus 19, verse 28. This is why it's so great. This is why in Isaiah 13, the Lord said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. You know, it says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So if you had a man of the Lord, he would have knew this. And he would have told you not to go do that. And she'd probably still be alive today. See the order. Y'all going to stop trying to look. Y'all going to get judged. As you just see Cam Kevin Samuels. Cool guy. I agree with a lot of things he, he said. But is he a man of the Lord? Was he doing the work of the Lord? And the Lord is about to start showing his hand during these times. 
what the, the apostle named this year the year of turn of the Lord's turn up. The Lord is about to start turning up, man, putting people to death. If you ain't trying to get on the Hebrew Israelite train in the truth, the Lord finna silence you. That's a warning, man. You know, y'all about to see. So ye should not make any cuttings in your flesh. You're not supposed to be going and because you got to get cut on and fat transfer. You're not supposed to be doing that, man. But you could work out, though, and eat healthy, you know, and there's different ingredients and, you know, smoothies and stuff like that to cleanse your body so your body can break down that fat more. There's different things that we could use, herbs and stuff like that. But you're not supposed to be making any cuttings in your flesh or print any marks with goes the same with tattoos. If you do these things, you could be judged by the Lord, you know, but you have to, if you have done these things, you have to repent because a lot of us have tattoos, you know, before we came in the truth. But what makes us different is we repent it and then we stop that sin, meaning that we're not transgressing against that particular law anymore, meaning that we're not going to go get more tattoos. We got them. It's over with, you know, you can't take it back really. And then other than that, you know, don't go get no more and repent, you know, so you have grace to repent. You know, even her friend that got the BBL, she could still repent and come into the truth, you know. But if you just living in sin and wickedness, eventually it's going to catch up to you, you know, and you're going to end up like her friend, you know. I mean, it's it's just, I mean, it's, it's a tragedy for her mother, you know, see her mother crying and stuff like that because it's like she died from that. I mean, this is if, if, if a woman die, you know, you're going to know you gonna you could guess three things what women die for in uh, Mystery Babylon America. Either a drug overdose, a car crash, or now surgery. Those three top things. If a woman die and and you try to figure out, damn, what did she die from? Just think of one of those three top it was either a car crash, uh um a surgery, or um what was the last one? A drug overdose. You know? So you got to deal with that. And then another one's going to come up here big when um all hell breaks loose, which is going to be, you know, women not having protection from for, for, from a husband from other men. You know, if you have ears to hear what I'm trying to say, you know, so that goes directly against the law. The law is there to protect us. And if she was following the law, she she probably still have her life. So with that, I'm going to say salvation to the elect. Shalom.